Hello, this is part two of a three-part screencast on the implementation I have for technology in my classroom for LDT 570. In this part of the screencast, I want to focus on what would happen if the sky were the limit with respect to technology in my classroom. If my administrators were on board, if I had all the resources I wanted to at my disposal, what would I do? And to start with, computers would be available in every classroom for every student if I had it my way. If you look to that photograph on the right, you'll see that there are computers installed in the desks in the classroom, computers that can be easily stored away. The computer, if I had it my way, would be as common as paper in pencil in our classrooms. And again, as I said, desks, as seen in the photo to your right, would all be equipped with computers and the ability to hide them when traditional activities are called for. For example, a traditional activity using like pen and paper or reading a textbook or something that didn't require technology. Uh, they'd be able to put it away and have a completely uh, a, a, a full desktop roomy to lay out pen, paper, books, that sort of thing. Essentially, it would be a functional workspace for both computer and non-computer work. And I, I think these desks off to the side are probably the best example of that. And I would love every classroom to look this way in the future. Authentic assessments are how I would do things in my room. I do believe that it is time to ditch standardized tests in favor of authentic assessments for every unit. I'm not sure that the idea of multiple choice, true, false, and, and short answer questions are good. I don't have a problem with them necessarily as far as a formative assessment, but when we're talking about you know the end of a unit, I would rather some kind of an authentic assessment be done. For example, uh, perhaps we could assign uh, uh, collaborative essays. I like this idea. Collaborative essays as well as individual essays would demonstrate learning, and we would definitely use Google Docs. Uh, no need for a student to turn in a hard copy. No need for them to send me an attachment. Uh, no need for them to give me a flash drive with their work on it. And in addition to essays, we could do presentations instead of essays, you know, a PowerPoint presentation uh, that could take the form of a screencast, a Prezi presentation that I could either look through or we could have a Prezi, Prezi presentation and they would have to do it in a screencast. We could employ this. Um, I'm also thinking that I would like to do discussions in Google Groups and on Facebook, and that would be part of the learning where they would have to uh, you know, make an initial posting, for example, and then maybe respond to the postings of two or three of their classmates. I would love to use social media because I do believe this is an integral part of our students' daily lives. My class would have a Facebook page, and the page could be accessible to the entire world. So everybody could know what we were doing. Of course, I believe this is this needs to happen with certain safeguards because everybody needs to be protected, both teacher and student. But I do envision a place with a Facebook page for my class where I could make important announcements. I could post those. And because social media is such a big part of my students' lives, they would see this. They would know what was happening. Uh, I would love to do class discussions on our class Facebook page, quite frankly. Uh, I would like to pose some kind of a topic, and students would make an initial post on the Facebook page, and then be required to respond to their classmates. They're already doing this anyway in their personal life, so why not make this uh, part of the curriculum, where, where they need to give a reasoned discussion uh, uh, on a certain uh, topic, you know, and maybe employ some higher order thinking skills. I would love for us to have a class Twitter feed. I would love the world to know what we are studying. I think it would be wonderful if we could uh, use this Twitter feed to uh, uh, publish student work online, make a contribution to the knowledge of the world. And I could envision a scenario in which uh, the class Twitter feed could be used for announcements and 
discussions. Perhaps the students would have to, you know, make an initial tweet and then tweet back to two of their classmates on any given topic if we were having a discussion on some content in my class. I love the idea of screencasts. For example, instead of a test at the end of a unit, for a summit, summit, excuse me, for a summative assessment, I would love for students to put together a screencast for a summative assessment of what they have learned in each unit. And I think this could take many, many forms. We could do a Prezi presentation. Um, we could have students put together a documentary by video. We could have them on video making a speech. Now, the possibilities are endless. Uh, my class would indeed have a YouTube channel, and I think that we could broadcast this information on the screencasts. We could broadcast this information to the world. I see a scenario in which these summative assessments uh, could make a contribution to information and or dialogue about content, and the whole world would have access to this. I like the idea of even using technology for formative assessments, because I do think there's probably still a place for quizzes and so forth, uh, because I do believe that formative assessments go a long way in uh, gathering data to make data-driven decisions about uh, planning uh, the next steps for instruction in a given unit. So I would like to use Socrative.com or Google Docs, and I think this would be wonderful. We could employ this for formative assessments. These assessments could be taken at school or from home, and it would give me, the teacher, instant data. And again, the data is used to make decisions about how to plan the next steps in instruction. It's a wonderful way to check for understanding because if there's something I'm seeing, you know, a pattern in the data and there's something that needs to be retaught, instantly I would have the data and I could reteach it in some fashion or form, whether it, uh, another screencast, uh, maybe some lecture time in school, whatever that takes. And the questions that I could use for these formative assessments could include anything from true, false, multiple choice, short answer, etc., so forth and so on. I like the idea of flipped instruction, making screencasts. I like the idea of having students uh, get their direct instruction at home, and in some ways I think it would be easier than having to do a big project after a hard day at school. Uh, I would love to have flipped instruction where the direct instruction in some cases, but not all, would be done at home. Through screencasts, for example, they would learn the basic knowledge uh, when they are home so that class time could be devoted to projects and I could spend the time tutoring and helping and so on and so forth. The previous slides are but an example of what I would do. Mind you, what I have presented here is not an exhaustive list or an exhaustive uh, 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 a dialogue on what I would do as an idealist. I'm just giving you examples. I am always open to new things. And again, I want to emphasize this presentation is but a taste. It is not exhaustive. And with that, thank you so much for watching.